Alrighty, Hot Wheelers, so it's time to look through the box of attic finds that I pulled out of the attic. I went back to my hometown and checked out the attic. I knew there was some up there, but I know I've got tons more somewhere else, and I didn't want to spend the time going through the family storage unit to see if I could dig them up, but one of these days I will. Uh, but I just found a little bit of old Hot Wheelage here, so I thought I'd give you a little parade of vintage oldies here for your viewing pleasure starting with this big old look at that thing this is from uh, Matchbox and I believe it um, you know the Matchbox were kind of the first to do the monster truck series with Bigfoot and Awesome Kong and all that stuff and then they did this sort of mud series um, with the, the weird tread on the tires and this thing comes up and moves around it's pretty loose actually but it sort of looks like you know, Avenger before Avenger, 57 Chevy. They didn't articulate very much back then, and their wheelbase was much shorter, but still really awesome. And this is a matchbox, if you can see the base down in there. But I had a bunch more of these, and I've got, you know, the classics, Rolling Thunder, and a whole bunch more, but I don't know. I'll find them eventually and show them to you. But while we're on the subject of matchbox, here's a little delivery vehicle. I believe this is a Model A4. Let's see if I can get some light on it there. There we go. Matchbox Speed Shop. Let's see. That is from... Can you read that? Looks like super fast. Model A4, 1979, made in Macau. I have no idea where that is. But pretty cool piece. It's really large. It's a big piece. Big fat Matchbox Speed Shop. These doors don't open cool piece. What else have we got? Here's an Ambo. Can you tell I played with my toys? I mean, I, I, you guys that played with them inside are lucky because I was outside in the dirt building big old obstacle courses and all kinds of stuff. You can see this is dirt from probably 1985 right here. So old stuff, but these doors still open. Check that out. Looks like that ambulance has been well used. I probably I don't know what I did in there, but it looks pretty nasty, doesn't it? Looks like a post-apocalyptic ambulance. This is a matchbox. Again, made in Macau. 1977. Very cool. Call that a beater ambo. Let's see, what else have we got here? This is uh, another matchbox. GMC Wrecker. Frank's 24-hour towing. Got the hook still. This one's in okay condition, considering. I wonder what happens if you call that number. I guess since there's not an area code, it can give you all sorts of different things, depending on which area code you call. But nice nice light bar on top, matching uh, windows. Kind of a foggy yellow. Not my favorite, but still cool. Love these tow trucks. I'm pretty sure I had two or three or four. 1987. Don't have a made in what country here, do we? Doesn't say. Cool. Little Toy Man. This is a Challenger. I used to love these drag looking cars because um, I like tractor pull cars, and, and so these drag racing cars a lot of times would look like the tractor pull cars. Because they had kind of the same classes, you know, funny car, and then they'd have 4x4, four four, and then they'd have the tr actual big tractors, custom tractors but uh, this is a cool piece obviously a little beat up been played with but that's what these were for I assume Dodge Challenger 1975 made in China this is also from super fast but that's a cool looking piece what else have we got in here this is a a road champs check that out Road Champs Hard Hats Construction Company. And this one has uh, suspension on it. Still works pretty good. And again, played with. I don't remember where I got this. It's got a moving part here in the back. Metal on metal. It's got a trailer hitch. Suspension. Got the roll cage still on it. Here's the base here. GMC High Roller from the Road Champs line of cars 1982 it looks like that's pretty cool what else have we got in here this one's in good condition here's a matchbox jeep 
four by four made in Thailand. This obviously must be quite a bit newer. Got the golden eagle on the hood. This one's almost dead mint right here. Got your little shovel on the side. Some packs in the back. Pretty cool little Jeep there. Trying to go a little faster because I want to get through all these. Look at this old thing. I don't know where that came from, but that one's pretty cool. Looks like uh, from the 40s or something, but this is called uh, Midgetoy. <laughs> uh, don't think you could call it that these days. See if you can read that in there. Rockford, Illinois, USA. Made in the USA. Doesn't say what year though, I don't think. Oh, well, that's your basic truck right there. Oldie, oldie, oldie. Look at that. Looks kind of cool with the chip paint and stuff. It's got a trailer hitch. Why don't we move on over to... I don't know if this is Matchbox or Ertl. But here's a uh, Knight Rider kit. This one's all beat up and dirty, but it's pretty long. Looks bigger. Look at the dash. Look at all that detail in the dash. See if I can get in there and see see that stuff in there. Come on. There you go. Look at that. All the controls and stuff are in there. That's awesome. I don't see Kit's little lights in there, but it's got a nice little control. It's got the red in the front. Of course, I beat it up pretty bad. This was, uh, I can't tell if this was Ertl or Matchbox. This is made in Macau, so I'm thinking it's, um, I don't know. don't remember where this came from. Let me know if you do. Speaking of the entertainment line, check out that Batmobile. This one was um, right after the movie came out in the, uh, the Michael Keaton version. Jack Nicholson played the Joker, and this was a mean-looking Batmobile. Everybody loved this thing. When it came out, I had to have it. Um, really awesome piece. Now, of course, they've re-released this in the L case of Hot Wheels cars, so you can get it now, but I don't think it has the yellow uh, thing. Of course, we've got DC Comics. This was an Ertl made in China. Base is really kind of solid and flat. Uh, if I think about it and I get my other Batmobile out, we may do a comparison. This one's really big, big, beefy. Batmobile. All right, trying to go quicker, trying to go quicker. Here's a couple of Harley Davidson motorcycles. <laughs> no big whoop there. Just some little motorbikes. All right, now getting into the Hot Wheels stuff. This makes me sick. Look at that. You know what that is? That's from the Real Rider series. It's a Dodge Rampage from 1983. What did I do? I tried to customize it. Painted over it. What did I call it? Bloody Mary? Really horrible job, dude. For a 10-year-old, even. That's bad. So, I was. I remember I had this piece, and I was excited to find it, and then I remembered, oh yeah, there was a phase I went through where I was trying to paint over stuff, and man, I ruined that. Oh well. Another real rider piece I found, which I love. This was my favorite car forever. This is the Cobra, and of course, I've lost the hood. And the windshield is kind of pushed down, and I got a chip on it right here. But otherwise, it's great. Uh, but I did buy one of these that's still in the blister because this was my ultimate favorite Hot Wheels back in the day. And I remember thinking, I got to keep this and keep it in good condition because it's an awesome piece. And then I lost the hood. But found it at least, still around. Very nice. What else? What else? Got more coming, more coming. Here's a Son of Gone. Now, you know, the Son of Gon comes up like this. Uh, Retro Entertainment Magnum PI, I think, just released a Son of Gon, and you've, there's a bunch of different ones. This is kind of a beater Volkswagen, but got the bike on the back. This one is uh, 81 in Malaysia. It's pretty cool. Still kind of put together well there. Here's a beater. That's the, uh, what is that? Auburn 852. That is beat up. I've had this one probably since I was tiny. 1978. Uh, that's a pretty cool piece though. I might have to buy a, uh, or go looking for a restored, or a original more mint one. Cadillac Seville. I think you can find this. Can you find this in the Real Riders? I think you can. This one's the Blackwall version. 
Nice red taillights, always like that about this car, and the tinted windows. Nice mean front there. Uh, show you the base real quick. Cadillac Seville Hong Kong base, 1980, I believe. Very cool. A couple of police cars. This one is the uh, really cool 1977 Sheriff Mobile. These came in a lot of different variations. You'll see a lot more white that went all the way around. A lot of variations for this car. I think Dreadnought has every single one of them. Uh, but this one's an okay shape, not mint, but it's been played with. Show you the bottom really quick. Hot Wheels 1977 Hong Kong base. Very cool. Glad to have that kind of in decent condition. We'll have to put that in the display case. And then here are the... Uh, what are these called? I've already forgotten. I just saw a, uh, a Dreadnought video and he had a couple of these. 1983 Hong Kong Hot Wheels. What are they called? You know, where they look like you crash them? I've already forgotten. You can tell me in the comments. I'll remember as soon as I finish taping this. Fire Department. Big boxy car here. Didn't even say what type of car it is, but these were the, what are these, smashers, crackers, crack-ups. That's what they are, crack-ups. I loved these. I had a, several different versions of them. Um, great idea. Loved these as a kid. A few more cars here, and then we'll be done, promise. Here's, I love this car. The Classic Packard, 1982, white wall tires. This was the coolest limo that I owned and probably will ever own. And it's certainly worn in and played with because I loved this one. I got this one out all the time and I tried to treat it well, but, you know, time takes a toll. So you can still find some of these mint, probably in the package too, if you're really looking for them. There's the base, very thin metal base there. Wow. Glad I found that one. That's awesome. Let's put that back there. And then I found, this is probably one of the better condition ones. This one is uh, the Woody. In yellow with black walls, it's pretty good condition. A few little nicks and scratches, but this is a really nice black wall piece with the motor coming out the hood there. Not too many chips, so a few little nicks and stuff. Uh, it's got a bunch of stuff in the back. Can you see that? I like some suitcases going on a trip. There's uh, the base, 1979 Hot Wheels, Malaysia base. That one's awesome. Glad to have that one still. And then, okay, so this is the last one, and this is the one I was most excited to find. All right, you ready? We looked at the three-window 34 Ford from the M case, and I found my three-window 34 Ford. This is a 1979, I believe. Yep, 79 Malaysia Hot Wheels. This is the three-window 34 Ford. This is the ZZ Top car. That's awesome. ZZ Top drove this car in all their videos. I love ZZ Top. Grew up in Texas. ZZ Top's from Texas. They used to play all the dive bars in the 70s and stuff. And uh, I loved this car. Um, I don't know what happened with the licensing and stuff, but when they came out with this, I had to have it. I'm so glad that I didn't screw this one up bad. But this one is awesome. It doesn't roll quite like it used to. But that is awesome. So we're going to end on this one. Sorry for the length of this video, but come on, we're going down memory lane here together looking at some oldies and goodies. So uh, this is my crown jewel for the find. This is my little treasure hunt out of the old attic finds. And uh, the ZZ Top 3 Window 34. Alright, so thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.